Hi all, today we're going to be showing you how an IT admin can enable multi-factor authentication for desktop Linux devices with TOTP codes. We'll be demoing here with an Ubuntu installation in a virtual machine where we have two users, Bob and Olivia, who are both managed by JumpCloud. We'll go to the JumpCloud admin portal where we have the option for TOTP MFA login for this device. It's currently disabled because of a conflict with our SSH settings. If we follow the instructions and go down here, we can rectify that by either deselecting allow SSH password login or deselecting enable public key authentication. Let's do that. And now we can click this to enable TOTP MFA login for the device. Let's follow through with a prompt and save. Before going to the device, let's look at the users for the device. We have Olivia and Bob. Olivia does not have TOTP MFA login enabled, while Bob does. And so Bob will be required to enter a verification code during login, while Olivia will not. Let's go to the device and login as Olivia first. We'll enter our password and be granted access immediately. Now let's switch over users to Bob and login. We're now required to enter a verification code. I'll enter a verification code from an authenticator app on my phone as the user might. And we're granted access. A verification code is only required on initial user login when a session is created. If we only lock the device and unlock, a verification code is not required. This setting for TOTP MFA login applies to both desktop and SSH logins. And so if I log in as Bob through an SSH session to the device and enter my password, I'm required to enter a verification code. While if I do an SSH session as Olivia and enter my password, a verification code is not required. And that is how an IT admin could enable TOTP MFA login for desktop Linux devices. Today we're going to be showing you how a user can enable multi-factor authentication with TOTP codes when logging into their desktop Linux device. We have an Ubuntu installation here with one user, Bob, who is managed by JumpCloud. Let's log in as Bob, enter our password, and get granted access without requiring a verification code. That's because Bob has not set up multi-factor authentication for the user. Let's log in as Bob into the JumpCloud portal and go to the security tab and set up TOTP. I'll scan the code with an authenticator app from my phone and now have a code I can enter to confirm. And we're done. Let's log out. And log back in. We'll enter our password. And now we're required for a verification code. We'll enter that now. And be granted access. Because the user has enabled multi-factor authentication, verification code is now required to log into the system. This is only required on initial, initial user login. If I lock the device and then unlock, a verification code is not required. And that is how a user can enable multi-factor authentication with TOTP codes for desktop Linux devices.